Assalamu alaikum. I am Shanjid Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Fashion School, Day Sheet. Today I am going to take a science class for the student of class 4 and our today's class topic is chapter 8, broad question number 1 and 2 and our today's lecture number 10. My dear students, in our previous class, uh, chapter 8, short question was discussed and in our today's class, we will discuss chapter 8, broad question answer 1 and 2. Now, let's start the class. Now, chapter 8, question number 1. When we observe the moon in the night sky, the moon's shape looks a little different every night. Explain the passage of moon. Answer, moon in the satellite of the planet Earth. If we observe the moon every night, we will see that the shape of the moon is somewhat different than the previous night. The moon seems big and round on some nights. Other nights, it looks small and half round shaped. The changing shapes of the bright part of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. The phases repeat in every 28 days. The names of phases are given below. Number 1, new moon. 2, waxing crescent. 3, first quarter. 4, waxing gibbous. 5, full moon. 6, warning gibbous. And 7, last quarter. And 8, warning crescent. So, there are eight phases of the moon. First one is, again I repeat, new moon. Second, waxing crescent. Third, first quarter. Four, waxing gibbous. Five, full moon. Six, warning gibbous. Seven, last quarter. And eight, warning crescent. Now, we will discuss question number two. Broad question number two. Our earth is one of the planet of solar system. What are the components of the solar system? Answer. The solar system is made up of the sun, all the planets and other objects such as asteroids, comets, dust and gas. A planet is a large object in space that moves around the sun. A planet does not produce light of its own. Our earth is one of the planets of the solar system. The moon is the only satellite of the earth. There are eight planets in the solar system such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in order from closest to furthest from the sun. My dear students, in this class, we will discuss broad question number 1 and 2. And homework for next week is homework number 9, broad question answer 1. I hope you understand our today's class. You will do the homework properly and submit it on the due date. Till then, keep well. Assalamu alaikum.